why, 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 why? I know I'm a why learner, and so today we're going to discuss why I can and why you should can too. Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. Welcome back, Rebel Canners, for another episode. And so today we're going to discuss why I can and why you should can too. Years ago, home canning was a way of life for most people who lived on rural farms. It still is today for a lot of people in rural areas. Um, but... A lot of people now are canning just because they have a desire to return to a more natural lifestyle. And when you can at home, you know what is in your food. You know how to preserve food the way your family likes it. Buying stuff at the store, sometimes it's got way too much salt in it for our family's tastes. Or they put spices in it or onions my son doesn't like. I love them. My son doesn't like them. So by preserving our own food, we can have it the way we like it. Um, and there's no artificial anything in it, which is wonderful. Um, unless you want them. And then there is. Um, if you don't like spicy seasoning, just leave it out. Home canning is wonderful. People do it a lot right now because it's a very frugal way to preserve your budget. You've planted a small garden and all of a sudden all this homegrown produce is coming out of it. And this is a great way to preserve that bounty for later use. Another reason is today's fast pace. I do it for convenience. All the prep work is done when I do the canning so that when I go to open the food, I have very fast food. I don't have to chop. I don't have to do anything. It's all ready. It just needs to be reheated, heated through, and it's ready for my family to use. So in about 15 to 20 minutes, I can have a hot, homemade, healthy meal on the table for my family. And that's important to me. Um, it's convenience. Uh, but convenience that's healthy. Not, you know, preservative, laden, and artificial, and... Uh, mystery goop in my meat. Um, it gives me a great joy, actually. I can because it's a relaxation. It's therapy. That's another major reason I love to can. It's my it's my therapy. Um, home canned food lined up on the shelves. It doesn't get any better that than that for food security for me. And growing up in a very poor home that's important to me um i i i guess that's about where i'm going to leave this but a lot of people are like why do you can it's sometimes it is cheaper they're like it's cheaper to just buy it at the grocery store already done and sometimes it is lately it hasn't been but you know sometimes it has been but again i don't know what's in that or what's in that is something I can't eat because of allergies or my kids won't eat. And so if I could have healthy, prepared meals for my family, why wouldn't I can and do it? You know, uh, I think a lot of us have lost the joy in cooking and canning brings that joy back to me. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that you will come along with my me on my journey as I show you that there's so much more to can than you can find in some of these books. So come along with me. The best is yet to be. Thanks, Rebel Canners. If you haven't already, please go ahead, ring that bell so you never miss another episode. Subscribe, hit the like, and I'd really love it if you would leave a comment down below about why you can, if you can. I'm really curious to see if there's more reasons than what I named for why people should can. So there you go, Rebel Canners. Leave me a comment. Tell me why. Thank you. Have a great day. And check out one of these other videos that I've selected just for you.